Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you my updated build for the Bloodhounds Fang, one of the most broken weapons of the entire game and the favorite weapon of the speedrunners of this game. I'm going to be using this build to defeat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. So let's jump straight into the build. With this one, we are going to be using the Bloodhounds Fang on plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. If you want, you can use the Commander's Standard buff. It is a little bit stronger than Golden Vow, but it only lasts 30 seconds seconds, while Golden Vow lasts like an entire minute and a little bit more. And we will use any weapon with the Raptor Optimist Touch of War to easily dodge their advanced light explosion attack and the Commander Gaius charge attack. I'm going to be using the Rakshasa's armor set that will increase our damage by a total of 8% if we wear the entire set. But if you are tired of using this armor set, feel free to use any other one you find cool looking, and that provides the defensive stats you need. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Two-Handed Sword Talisman, the Roaring Windsor Insignia, and the Dagger Talisman. But you can also use the Millicent's Prosthesis or the Poison Bleed or Madness buffs. I really didn't want to use any of these because the build really works very well by itself, so it's only if you really want to deal more damage. According to my playstyle and my preferences, I believe this is the best Talisman setup we can use. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. But a very good alternative that can easily replace the Thorny or the Blood Sucking Crack Tear is the Stone Barb Crack Tear. The unique skill of this weapon on Bloodhound's finesse, this a very good amount of stance damage and combined with the Stone Bark Tractor, it's completely broken. With this build, we are not going to be dealing only physical damage because we are going to buff the weapon with Blood Flame Blade, but the fire part is not gonna be significant to buff it with Howl of Shabriri. That's why our best body buff is going to be Blood Boil Aromatic, but if you don't like crafting, feel free to use Flame Granny Strength, and by using Flame Granny Strength, you are going to buff your physical and your fire damage, so in this case, it's a very good alternative. And as any other over Overpowered build of this game, this one is going to consume a lot of stamina, so be sure to craft some pickle turtle next to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on vigor, 20 on mind, 40 on endurance, 47 on strength, 80 on dexterity, and 25 on faith. Golden Vow, Flame Granny Strength, and Blood Flame Blade are going to be our main buffs. And as you can see, I have my Scatter Blessing on the level 20, and if you want to deal the max amount of damage possible to the toughest. DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First we are going to use our Flask of Wondrous Physic, then we are going to cast Golden Vow and we are going to use a Pickle Turtle Neck. Just after that we are going to use our body buff, in this case it's going to be Blood Boy Aromatic, but it can be Flame Granny Strength. And immediately after that, we are going to buff our weapon with Blood Flame Blade. Refill your FP, your HP, and with that, you should be ready to go. Now, a very important note for this build is that if you want to use the Stone Barb Crack Tear, you will need to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic at the very last moment. You will do the same if you want to use the Commander's Standard Buff. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Hey homie, let's fight together, let's do it nice. I really want you to do something cool, let's go. That's what I'm talking about! Quickly! Let's go! Let's go! Hey there, Relana. You ready? Or oh, maybe this one. What? This is what I call a good RNG, bro. <laughs> what a beautiful Relana fight, bro. <laughs> Hey there, Mesmer. Are you ready? Take that kid, bad boy. Oh, dude, that was destructive. Oh my god. Oh, say goodbye, bad boy. BOOM! <laughs> Very good. 
So we use Blood Flame Blade and we destroy her as fast as possible, baby. What up there, Romina? Crit hit, quickly! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> nice. Let's go. Now we use this. And let's do this. Let's wait a little bit. Nice. All good. Nice. Quickly. Come on. Oh, very nice. Quite nice, honestly. Get a little bit closer now, quickly. I didn't break him. It's not bad. Quickly. Come on. Come on. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. What? Oh, that was a very nice prediction, bro. Get down. Oh, I knew it. Oof. Oh, get destroyed, bad boy. Oh, and get the crit hit. Oh, baby, come on. Oh, goodbye, baby. That's very nice. What's going on there, homie? You're looking great today. Nice. Oh, beautiful. There is nothing to hit there, bad boy. Oh, careful here, careful here. Oh, I knew it, bro. <laughs> let's go. Now we refill this quickly and let's destroy him. Oof. That was dangerous. I can't believe I actually didn't hit him, bro. It's very dumb. Get down! <laughs> You're going down, baby! Oh! 